Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the shrine of mine, the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us once again thank God for all the blessings that we receive from Him through this Eucharistic celebration. And let us also pray and keep praying especially for our needs and for the needs of our loved ones of other people who ask for our prayers my dear friends let us now be reconciled with one another and with our god as we say i confess almighty god and, and to you my brothers, my brothers and sisters that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done, done and, and in what i fail to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the darkness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly, all my servants, the prophets, yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you, he you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come. Let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing songs to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. And we are the people of his shepherds. The flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your heart, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert. 
where your fathers tempted me, they tasted me, though they have seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will this kingdom stand? For you say, that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a showman fully armed guards his palace, his positions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and becomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relies and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus has been working miracles left and right, and people knew this. Not all of them certainly was impressed and believed that he came from God, but some people have their doubts. Why did not his own Kababayan told him, where did this man get his knowledge, his wisdom? Is he not the son of Mary? or the son of Joseph, a carpenter, an ordinary man. But how come he has that authority? Authority not only to heal, but authority also to cast out demons. And most especially, authority to forgive sins. And they cannot believe that Jesus could do this. And so because of their doubts, some of them said that by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Ganon. Kapag ang isang tao hindi naniniwala, ano pa? Hahanap siya ng paraan to justify his doubts. At ito, 
ginamit nila yung demonyo naging kaibigan nila yung demonyo at yun ay dahil hindi sila naniniwala sa ating Panginoon they also ask for more signs to entertain them not really to believe in Jesus but to entertain them gumawa ka pa ng milagro at habang certainly pag gumawa siguro ang ating Panginoon ng milagro there will, there will be more amazement but there is no belief there is no discernment of what Jesus did wala pa rin nakaintiende gusto nilang panglabas lang entertainment wala pa rin nakadiscern that what Jesus was doing comes from God wala pa rin makakilala sa Kanya na ang makagawa lamang ng milagro ay nanggagaling sa Diyos dahil ang milagro ay gawa ng Diyos wala pa rin nakakilala sa Kanya. Kaya anong ginamit ng ating Panginoon, they use their argument. Kung ang power ni Belzebul ang kanyang gamit, then he is more powerful than Belzebul. And that is because he cast out the demon from the mute person. Ibig sabihin, mas makapangyarihan pa siya kaysa Prince of the Devil na Beelzebul. Why? Because nagawa niya paalisin, palayasin ang demonyo na nag-occupy, nag-possess sa mute person na ito. Papayag ba ang demonyo? Papayag ba si Beelzebul niyan? Certainly hindi. Why? Because he will be defeated. E kung siya ang mas mataas, siya ang mas malakas, eh bakit payagan niya si Kristo? Bakit payagan niya yung kanyang kakampi na tatalo sa kanya? Hindi. Nobody will allow that. But Jesus certainly, gusto lang ng ating Panginoon ipakilala na hindi siya galing sa demonyo and much more hindi siya demonyo. Ngunit may kapangyarihan over Satan, over the demons. May kapangyarihan na mas mataas, mas malakas pa kaysa demonyo. Ang argument, a house that is divided cannot stand. A house that is divided cannot stand. And if Beelzebul, the demons, will continue to dominate, then he should not be divided or else magkokolapse siya, babagsak siya. So itong argument ng ating Panginoon, itong argument ng ating Panginoon, that a house divided will not stand, kaya sa ating paniniwala sa Diyos, dapat walang duda. And that is because doubts divide. Divide our minds, divide our hearts. Divide our faith. Kaya kung naniniwala tayo sa Diyos, sa Diyos lamang tayo maniniwala. And this is a challenge for us now. Why? Because we are so divided. We are so divided. Even most probably in our family, we are so divided. And what's more, at present time, we are so much divided. In our faith to God, in our belief in God 
and in our obedience to God, we are so divided. And if we are so divided, then there will come a time that we will collapse. And that is from the word of Jesus himself. A house divided will collapse, will not prevail. And I found a declaration by Abraham Lincoln in one of his speeches. According to Abraham Lincoln, a house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not believe the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall. But I do expect it will cease to be divided. Napakagandang reflection coming from our Lord Himself. I hope it will not happen to us. I hope it will not happen to our country. I hope we believe as Christian country, I hope that we will be united in our belief and proclamation that God is our God, that Jesus is the Son of God. I hope and pray that we will continue to profess our faith in one God and to follow the teaching of Jesus. I pray that we will not be accomplice of the crimes against humanity. We will not be accomplice of the crime against life, against God, that we will be united in upholding life. And that is because the real reason why the Son of God became man in order to give us life. In order to give us life. Our life is so expensive that even God sacrificed himself in order to give us life. So mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, magdasal tayo. Magdasal tayo. Let us renounce all actions against life. And let us pray, especially for the conversion of those who believe that they have the hands over life. Only God can take our life. We'll stand. Gather together in Christ who conquers all evil. Let us come confidently to the Father with our prayer for intentions. For every intention we say, Father, make us one with your Son. Father, make us one with your Son, that the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the sub subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. 
in silence. Let us now offer to God our very personal intentions and prayers, prayer intentions of this Mass. And in silence, let us pray for our loved ones, especially those being persecuted. Let us pray for the protection of uh, those victims of injustices. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray with your friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness that their gifts might be pleasing to you. And do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the reward of your truth to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Word, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, the religious and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching be there to say.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the matter of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray the Oratio Imperata. Let us turn to St. Joseph, who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick. Help us in our needs. Let us say together, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19. 
we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you suffered to death that, to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. St. Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your care as we place our trust in you now and forever. Amen. I would like to thank each and every one for your presence and once again for coming here to attend this Eucharistic celebration. Thank you very much for your active cooperation and active participation. would like to thank also our online viewers, our Facebook as well as uh, YouTube viewers. So also with all those who listen to us in Manawa Radio. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A mass is ended, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please, in silence, remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and were not able to come for this blessing. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Show we kindness to our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen for your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.